welcome riding buddies. This week's video is going to be a continuation of Harry Mason Shed 1 and Shed 2. We broke that video into two pieces because Harry has got far too many bikes to fit it all into one video. But this one is going to be about his little 1984 Kajiva WMX 125 that he has. Finally, Ding rocks up after all the hard work has been done of getting bikes out and getting them ready to, to try and ride. So, in his normal state, he rocks up when all the hard work's done. Then we have a look at the little Kajiva and see what this little bike was all about. The little Kajiva was probably the bike that Ding was most excited to have a ride on. But unfortunately, a little bit of a mechanical issue with the bike on the day uh, resulted in that we couldn't actually ride it, but we got to have a good look at it and check it all out. So this video is just going to be having a look at the bike and a little bit of a look at the history of the 84 Kajiva WMX125. Kick back and enjoy. Another one of your European Italian beauties. So this is a 84 a Kagiva 125. Yes. This one, this has got a bit of a weird story behind it too. A little bit. A little bit of a weird story. What was the go with it? Oh, a young guy bought it. Thought his father bought it for him to ride. He didn't like it, so they sold it to Brad Van Barillo up in Brisbane. And um, I was buying another bike off Brad. And he said, oh, are you interested in this Kajiva? I go, hmm, okay, yep, I like it. <laughs> so I bought it. <laughs> The 1983 Kajiva WMX125 was a great little bike, but in 1984, a lot of things changed. We went to twin radiators instead of a single radiator, double, double leading front brake, a whole host of engine changes that gave you so much more horsepower. They were a very peaky little bike, but an absolutely bullet of an engine. Olin's rear suspension, Mizoshi forks, and all the best componentry that you could ever want on a dirt bike was fitted to the 1984 Kajiva WMX125. The only thing you actually needed to do was have the talent to be able to be at the front. You were not held back by the bike. <laughs> Oh, Ding, I'm really sorry I didn't get the ride on it, but it does have good potential. It's got nice shocks, got nice forks, good engine, just needs a carb clean. <laughs> She's sexy, isn't it? Pretty bike. Yeah, she is an 84 model. First of the twin leading shoes, and uh, I think it had twin radiator cores on this model, and the model before only had a single radiator. Yeah, mate, you're right. <laughs> She's a really peaky little bike, this one. And once you come on the track, she'll, you'll have to plan your corners, plan everything, and hit her hard and plan that clutch, and off you'll go. Thank you for watching my video on Harry Mason's Kajiva WMX125 1984. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and throw us a like as well. Also, keep your eyes out for our next lot of videos where we look at some more of Harry's bikes that he has in his collection. If you haven't seen my first two videos on his shed, you need to have a look at them. His shed is amazing. But we'll catch you next time.